Welcome. In front of me is a Sony Xperia 10 and Mark IV. And today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So you can see that the phone I have right here is locked and you can unlock it either by drawing the, for me, the previously used pattern or by signing in with the previously logged in Google account. Now, assuming we don't know either of those, here we will just simply bypass this. So to get started, we're going to now back out to the first page. And now, assuming you have already went through the process of setting up the device up to this point, you want to back out. If you haven't, then proceed to the Wi-Fi page, connect to Wi-Fi, and then back out back to the first page. From here, we're going to select uh, Visual Aid. Then we're going to select TalkBack, and we're going to enable it. Now, I muted it just because it's a little bit annoying. It doesn't really matter what the TalkBack is telling us. Uh, we just need it for the functionality that it brings. So once you see this page, you will want to draw a mirrored L like this on the screen. This will bring up a window like this, so allow Android access suit to record audio. Uh, as you can see, the first option is already selected in this green outline, so double tap on it. It will bring up the use voice commands, so select use voice commands by tapping on it once. And before we double tap on it, I'm going to quickly go into what we need to say, because it does actually matter. So, from here you want to say, once you double press on this button, you will hear a beep, most likely. If not a beep, you should see like a green dot somewhere here. Uh, and you want to say open Google Assistant. Once it opens up Google Assistant, you want to follow up by saying open YouTube. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. So there we go. As you've seen, there are two parts uh, to it. First one started listening to you. You wanted to say open uh, Google Assistant and then the, once the Google Assistant started listening to you, you wanted to follow up with Open YouTube. You do need to wait for both of those beeps uh, because they signify that the device is now listening to you. If you do it too early, then the device wasn't listening to you and it got no comment basically to go for. Once you get your YouTube open, you will want to navigate into the account icon. Actually, before we do that, we will need to suspend TalkBack. Ah, sorry for that. Uh, so anyway, let's suspend TalkBack by holding volume up and volume down. From here, select turn on, double tap on it, and hold volume up and down again. And now we can use the device normally. So from here, select the account icon. And now we're going to navigate to... Let's see settings about and then I'm gonna select Google privacy policy this opens up Chrome so select accept and continue and no thanks and then right at the top the search bar you want to type hard reset that info slash bypass Okay, so I think it's correct. If you need a moment to write it down, do pause the video. From here, scroll down. You'll find settings right here. Click on it. This will obviously open up settings. And in here, we will navigate to apps right here. Then you wanna select see all 33 apps. Tap on the three dots and select show system. Now, first thing we will be looking for is the Android setup right over here. Click on it, select first stop and OK. Then we're going to go back and we're going to scroll down to Google, Google Play services. Right over here. Click on it, 
and this time around you want to select disable and force stop. Let's go back again and now we're gonna think back out once more. Again, there we go. And we need to now enable accessibility menu. So So we're gonna navigate to accessibility and here we're looking for we go, accessibility menu and toggle it on. Allow and there we go. Stop on OK and that's all we need to do here. So now that we have enabled the accessibility menu uh, we will want to go back to the beginning. And we're going to progress through the setup of our phone. Now you should see this page right here where it says checking for updates. And then for a brief moment, you could see just a sec, uh, which is the page that we need to be. Now, it's going to stay on this page as long as we don't do anything, uh, because it's trying to connect to Google Play services, but we have disabled it. So it has nothing to really connect to. So now, what we need to do is tap on this little pop-up right here, the Google Assistant. I'm going to select the Assistant. This will show up settings somewhere here, though it doesn't always pop up. Now, what will happen next once the actual settings opens up is it will open up the Google uh, Play Services page and in there you want to select Enable. As you can see, it takes a couple of tries to uh, even get it open for some reason. There it was. So from there we want to select Enable. There we go. Now, one thing that might be just a placebo, uh, I'm not exactly sure, is I think, or at least I feel like it, when you pick up the speed, so if you do it quicker, uh, try to do the, like, the assistant uh, settings and then enable, uh, you will manage to enable it quicker. It might take you less tries the, the faster you try to do it. I think it slows down the device a little bit, so uh, once the device starts to like lag behind, it will keep this page open for a little bit longer, enough for you to actually enable it. Once it's enabled, simply go back once. Tap someone on the screen to get rid of the Google uh, Assistant and finish up the setup. Now, if you're wondering why I selected Microsoft as a search engine, and it's because it doesn't really matter what I choose right now. I still need to perform a factory reset of the device once I get access to the home screen. So just choose whatever you want, whatever comes first. So from the home screen, you want to navigate into your settings, scroll down to system, Reset options, erase all data, erase all data, and then tap on that button once more to begin the factory reset of your phone. The reason you want to do this is because it will remove all the protections that were previously set on this device. Now the downside of this is it will waste a couple minutes uh, by factory resetting the device, which you just get to do nothing throughout and you can't really use your phone for that time. And once it's finished, you should be back in the setup screen. But at that point, you can set up your phone however you like. It will be fully unlocked, so you don't need to worry about any kind of like verifications or anything like that. And the reason I'm not gonna go through it uh, here 
it because it will just waste your time so I'm just telling you what to do as a last step and you should do it to fully unlock your device but because there is not much more after pressing this button that needs to be done as a guide I'm not gonna really show it so anyway this is how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching